And welcome to another edition of Thoughts of the Roundtable with me, Matt Rebar. And me, Paul Laux. And Raina is back. Thank you. Happy to be For here. For round two with us. I brought some questions this time. See, when you texted us, so this is what happened. We, we totally were like, okay, next time we'll talk to Raina. She'll have her 10 questions for us. And Raina was not missing around. You were like, <laughs> I have my 10 questions. And we were like, okay, well, we're just going to bring you on, like, right back. I honestly forgot about them, to be totally honest. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the people actually want to ask me things for once. <laughs> I'm actually nobody really, ever wants to ask me anything. I'm actually really curious to hear what you both have to say for these questions. I you can probably see my smile because we're in Zoom right now. My smile, I, I'm like like a Cheshire cat because I'm so intrigued <laughs> to like what you're gonna ask and like do will I know what I'm gonna say and like ooh I'm excited. These are questions that force you to be honest, I believe. Ooh. And well, I can lie about anything. Don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is a liar. <laughs> All right. Ten questions for Matt Ooh. and Paul. Ten okay. thoughts for Matt and Paul. Thoughts. <laughs> All right. Question one. What is one bad habit you've started during quarantine? Hmm. Just one of them? Um, Like, um, I'm trying to think of people I know who I'm going to say, I'm going to go as far as saying they just stop washing their hands altogether. Everybody's habits go down. Everybody's habits, you know, are good habits. Or you have a good habit. So My OCD's been out of control. I'll say that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been driving me nuts. What has been? I do this stupid new thing. Where I have to like blink every time I open a door. It's like so dumb. I hate it. It's the worst. My basically because the anxiety's through the roof. So I guess my bad habit would be all of my habits. The bad habit is anxiety. Yep, I can basically. relate to that though. That's so relatable. So for the first like two months of quarantine, this is probably like what March, April, February. I don't even know, but back then. I was buying a frozen Sara Lee pie like every four days. <laughs> <laughs> like hold I went on, through like eight of those pies. <laughs> I was on. so stressed. I have, my, <laughs> I have my habit. Um, ben and Jerry's. I bought a crap ton of Ben and Jerry's. Did you? <laughs> ben and yeah, Jerry's. Yeah, that was bad. I think it was just because, like, I'm the kind of person like likes to, like, judge things. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the banana cream pie, and then I'm going to get the coconut, and then I'm going to try, you know, the lemon meringue. And, like, and so it just kind of spiraled for a second, but then I kind of, like, got it together. Yeah, and now I that did, I'm... I did. And now that I'm Sarah saying this what? out loud, I'm like, now that I'm saying, like, I'm craving a Sara Lee pie right now. Like, I really want to, like, drive to Giant Eagle after this and get pie. Yeah, I had to knock it off for real because I was having like one a week, which doesn't sound like. But for me doing none for like years and then one a week, it was it was bad. Wait, like I could see my shirts getting tighter. You so were having a whole gallon a week of ice cream? Or? God, no, no, not a gallon. One of those little tiny ones. <laughs> oh, the pint? I, think I am. My oh, I, I give. I have one of those pints like in one day. That's easy. Like Haagen Dazs no, size w- or? Yeah, like those. Yeah, those oh. special ones. I can knock back one of those in one sitting, no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like an ice cream queen. Like, <laughs> and Raina's from an Wisconsin. Like, if you can't Wait. have a pint of ice cream and you're from Wisconsin, there's something wrong. Can I call you? Can I call you the ice queen? Ice queen. <laughs> I'm, like, uh, I'm Elsa. <laughs> Sorry, That's Edward. a compliment. Well, Raina, what about what about you? What was your bad habit in quarantine? Ooh, well, talking Paul's, to us. Paul's really relates to. I mean, that is true. I started I started like talk like swearing to myself a lot more and like um my bad habit probably is um I okay. Gambling. No, not no, gambling. Okay. My bad habit would probably be like freaking out about like um bugs and we had a mouse in the house. Oh. So I've been like over, like not agoraphobia is like staying inside, but it's like the fear of living inside with other 
living things. Mm. That's a thing? I guess. I don't know. Is that a real phobia? That has to be. There's that, phobias that for everything. That sounds really, that sounds like something I would have. Because like yeah. with my new yeah. house, there's like sp- like some spiders and bugs. And I'm like, listen, I'm not like against you guys, but like I need you to leave. Like I'm I'm like, I can't have you be here. It there's, just. There's probably a, a phobia of being on a decently successful podcast. But don't worry. You don't have to worry about that one here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, humble beginnings. And humble, humble beginnings. and humble middles and humble ends. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh man. Sorry. I will say one positive thing though with quarantine. I was hiking like every day. Oh, me for, like, too. Two months. I've, I've been around the, so many of the metro parks. We really don't take the metro parks. Like people need to take that more seriously. Metro park. We have a, a jewel around here with those things. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of people taking them seriously now because they're always super crowded, and I don't blame yeah, people. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I don't they were so people, crowded. Of course, but it's. Well, just I mean, like... what else are you gonna do? You think, oh, I'll go take a walk in the park, but because I can't be around people, but then everyone does that. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. It's just it's just a matter of going at uh, certain times of day. Mm-hmm. Middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Two a.m. jog. <laughs> Dark clothing. Even Dark the teens clothing. aren't there. Hood up. Even when the teens aren't there. Oh my god! Who's no, who knows what etching their initials in rocks and I really didn't have rocks. a teenage. What is, in rocks? Yeah, of who's course. The, like the bluffs or so. There's like yeah. I, which place? There's the ledges. Like, the ledges. You're talking yeah. about ledges. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's still fun. It's just so funny. The logic. It's like all these trees around you. Let's etch our name in the. I tree. I no, think Paul, you're thinking rock. of like small rocks. <laughs> well, like rock. random means big rocks, and people totally write their know, names in big do rocks. Do you know how long that's gonna take? Yeah, it takes do that. A, but you're a teenager. What else do you got? You go to the mall? I, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Not during you quarantine, sis. Can't go to the mall. generic hooligans. <laughs> you can't All right, go on. Let's, let's, let's move on. <laughs> How often do you... I have fall here. How often do you fall victim to Facebook ads? In what way? If you see a Facebook ad, do you buy it? I have I've never, done I've, never I've never done, done it. That. But there's been times yeah. where like things are promoted that are like creative. It'll be like, oh, it's the making this up, the Cleveland art sponsor thing, and it's like submit your art to like Cleveland Art Week or whatever. And oh. that stuff I follow up on. If it's stuff that I'm like, oh, I'm like this is something I'm like, you know, it's cool. But like, I've never been like, Facebook's like, here's a sandal. And I've been like, yes, let me buy that. I've never follow, fallen for a Facebook ad ever. And usually my Facebook ads that I've seen recently, like, I don't understand why they do this, but it'll be for like Photoshop. I already own Photoshop. Why are you giving me an ad for Photoshop? Why don't you like, buy it twice? <laughs> do that, so. I was just telling Paul, though, I, I was kind of like flirting with the idea of getting a new laptop because my laptop's fine. It's just the battery life is kind of like, wah, wah. And Groupon has been giving me insane. I'm like, Groupon's listening to me right now because Groupon has been Grouponing me with all these laptop deals. It's crazy. <sighs> Grouponing you. <laughs> yeah, I'm the opposite. I have bought, I, and I'm so surprised. And I don't know how I Sucker. feel about that. No, <laughs> everything that I've bought, though, has been stuff that I actually do need. And it's not, there's been a lot of stuff I've been very tempted. I mean, I get some pretty cool stuff, though. Like, um, there's this one, it's a light and it actually says, you'll, you'll both appreciate this. It says on air and you can like <gasps> I have set it up outside sitting right next and to it's me. just, I think I'm... it's like battery power or charge or something like that. And you can flip it on when like you're on. I want I one of those. That. I have that sitting. I, I have it literally sitting next to me. Oh, well, now man. that we've talked about it, Facebook's going to give me an ad in the next two days. Bet they your will. money. Bet they right will. now. Mm-hmm. I will get an ad for an on air sign. And the second I do it, I'm going to text you guys about it. I want to do, I'll do it too. Facebook, I want an ad for a on-air sign. <laughs> like know. at Facebook? Like, <laughs> like, like they're listening. One. Facebook? Please give me one. Sometimes Mr. Zark, Mark, give me some Zuck bucks. I want to buy, <laughs> buy one of those. Mark the year is 2050, and the economy is based on Zuck bucks. Can you imagine? Have you seen that random meme going around said, like this image to get 20 Zuck bucks? And it's just a weird edited picture of Mark Zuckerberg. I have not seen it, but I'm not surprised that you see it, because you come across the weirdest <laughs> memes. Like, I swear. There's some corners of the internet that I, I, that I look at that are hilariously strange. Yeah. I love it. All right, anyway. question three. Um, What's your jam? Nine minutes in. What have you been listening to lately? Ooh, mm. lately? Just, um, just in general, what's 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 on your 
on your radio. Matt, you, know, you can go first. I got to get yeah. into that. Um, I've been listening to um, Lady Gaga's Chromatica came out in May. That's still a huge listen for me. Uh, Rena, I'm going to m- mess up her last name. Rena Samawara came out with her debut album. And it's like there. It's like 2000s pop meets like a little like heavy metal, little rock, little like like bubblegum dance pop. And it's beautiful. Mm. I've been listening to that a lot. Um, yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm all over the place. You know, I, I've been listening to podcasts, audiobooks. I'm currently reading uh, the book about the Golden State Killer by Michelle McNair, uh, McNamara. So, wow. like, I've been listening to that. I mean, you know, I, I love absorbing audio. Like, that's literally what I do for a living. And, like, what I do for, like, passion is just, like, absorbing audio. So, yeah, a lot of different um, things. I usually, I have been listening to a lot of podcasts lately. I have been listening to one. Um, it's a couple of years old now, so but it's nice because all the episodes are there. It's going through all the history of all the presidents, oh. and from beginning to end. And so you learn a lot of. It's done by the Washington Post. It's called Presidential. It's pretty cool. And it goes through you know every single president and talks about them. There's a couple I didn't even, I forgot exist. Like Chester A. Arthur. Who yeah. Who the hell remembers that guy? But anyways, music wise, I've literally. Uh, I usually don't do this. Usually I listen to a lot of things at once. But for some reason, I've been zoning on this band that I used to listen to a while ago, and I've been kind of zoning in them again. This band called Tally Hall. They're kind of unknown. I only found them because of this one random song that was used in a uh, video I found called Banana Man, which they wrote um, to basically explain what a acid trip feels like. It's very mm-hmm. odd. And um, But you, you two would probably like the band. They're pretty good. And uh, they broke up years ago, but... And they only came out with two albums, but it's pretty good. There's Isn't really there's something so beautiful about a band that like has two really good albums or you know three mm-hmm. really good albums and then bam they're gone. And I don't like, I don't like that though because you want more. But it's so beautifully haunting. Like what could have been and like I don't know. I, it is true because I mean they weren't a small band. It's just they, they're like B they're like C plus level. Yeah. And so I mean they had a pretty good fan base, but it is kind of sad. It's like what could have happened if they made one more you know what would have yeah. what would have gotten to that next level or something but then you listen to it, it's like it, it bums you out because you're like well this is going to be it there's not going to be any more you remember you know what uh, the band L- lmfao remember them <laughs> yes they, well i think I band didn't... is a little uh, they were like a dj duo well, I, wouldn't I didn't say they were band, but... <laughs> I didn't i didn't realize because the, they broke up out and i thought it was, yeah but i thought it was hilarious they made a um their first album was called Party Rockin', remember mm-hmm. Party or Party Rock. Mm-hmm. They made a, their second album was Sorry for Party Rockin', and then they just never made anything else. Yeah, so it's like Party Rock, and it's Sorry for Party Rockin', and then just never made. Here's what's like, so insane: they made an album, like, and like Sorry for that. They album. literally had just two huge made. hits because they had the uh, Party Rock anthem and Sexy and I Know It, and then they broke up. Mm-hmm. And you're like, dude, you could have at least tried to like make another album of like, may, you might have got another hit or two. Like think of that royalty why money. Did they, Who walks why did they away? Break up? I don't know. They, they I think they're like, like brothers, like, but they don't seem. Were they related? Like, I thought wasn't they it were. an uncle? I think it was an uncle and nephew. Oh, maybe that's what the connection was. I think it was. But all right. Anyways, anyways moving on. They moving on. Very unstable. <laughs> we're thirteen minutes in. We were going to question the what three? Yeah, I love it. We have to break them up. Well, we have to bring up a couple up for next time. Yeah, and I'll. We'll see how we roll. I I feel like we can. It might be an extra long episode, but you know. <laughs> I don't know if people were going to be like, oh, that two-part episode with the ten questions. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> like, we'll on yoga. the next time, what <laughs> Raina, Raina's questions get harder. <laughs> we'll do rap the fire at the end. No, we'll put okay. money on next time. We can actually lose money. But this goes to show you how good the questions are, because if the questions weren't good, we wouldn't be talking about them. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah. We That's can a compliment. Just, we don't have to do them all. No, we we are we're gonna go for it. We are gonna go for it. We got this. I believe in us. What's one thing you tell people you're an expert at, but you actually know nothing about, or you're not as much as an expert as you say? (laughs) Matt's like Matt is rolling over. Because I didn't know where this question was going, and I enjoyed the way it went. Because I was like, I, my first thought was, okay, I'm an expert at writing. Because that's I've been doing writing since I was seven <laughs> years old. But then you were like an expert that you're not an expert in. I think one thing that people probably think I'm better at than I am 
like I, you know, when you're talking to guy, you know, when you're on the dating apps, you know, I love working out. I genuinely love working out. I work out like 10 to 12, 14 hours a week, but I really don't know. <laughs> like, don't ask me about like, oh, like what's the best like stretch or like, do you know, do this, do that. Like, I am really bad at like knowing like the science of working out and like actually like mm-hmm. how to effectively work out. Like, I still like doubt myself if I'm doing exercises right like I'm like I feel like this is right like question mark like looking around the room to like see if anyone's looking at me weird because <laughs> like I'm messing up the machine but um I would say working out like I feel like I've put in a lot of time but like definitely don't feel like I'm anywhere near like being successful with it perhaps uh, you describe my fears of the gym <laughs> people looking gym. at you and like phobia like yeah. that's not how you lift that you know exactly. flex phobia <laughs> Yes. Like, it's so weird with Planet Fitness because I thought like with Planet Fitness there wouldn't be like any gym hunk, you know, kind of like lift bros. There's a lot. <laughs> I'm like, you guys go to L.A. Fitness, please. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What about you, Paul? Um, I would have to say cardiovascular surgery. <laughs> what? And Have you told you people that out. you're a master in that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I screwed it up the first time, I kind of had to admit that I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, Explain so much. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I don't honestly. I don't know. I don't really tell anybody I'm an expert in anything. I'm not really an expert in anything. I would I when I think of Paul, an expert. I think of you with your memes. I think you're an expert. That's of not memes. an expertise. <laughs> anything can be an expertise. And finding I, stupid crap online isn't an expertise. It's just <laughs> being bored and finding stupid. So crap So you're allowed to be an expertise in whatever you want to be an expertise in. Um, I can find some funny stuff. You're really good at like that. home DIY stuff. Yeah, I am. You know what? I've been actually been. By, I shouldn't say I'm an expert, and by might tell people I'm pretty good at, but I could always learn is. Um, and it's a really weird hobby, but I've been using my ham radio a lot and it's really cool to like talk to random people. (laughs) It's fun. I know it's like an old dude hobby. I was, I was just about to say it's old man, Paul, but I love it. But it's, I mean, I'm into radio, been in radio forever. So I'm working and ham radios isn't that big of a Mm -hmm. job, but, um, it's, I was scanning actually through the frequencies the other day and found Walmart. So that was fun. What? So, wow. uh, yeah, just, I didn't know they had their own frequency, but they do. <laughs> You're so, like listening you for go. the Black Friday deals, like what's on sale? <laughs> no, it was just an stupid, air fryer like, for twenty dollars. <laughs> it was like I think he took the chips into the toilet. Like it's just stupid. <laughs> stuff like that. don't take the chips into the toilet. Reina, you what are you uh, a master but yet non master of? Home repair. <laughs> Really? Do people see you as like the home repair queen? And no. Oh well, okay. So like I live in like a terrible apartment and the tub <laughs> the the tub is like kind of splitting from the wall and it's just <gasps> like poor. it's like oh, plastic. Oh, and it's okay. just like yeah, it's just like the, the house is like shifting. You're going to mm-hmm. be in, like, that cartoon where in the tub's outside and you're, like, scrubbing, oh. like, in the yard. <laughs> I think of the family guy with, like, Cleveland that's, like, in the bed. And it's like, no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Right. And it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Raina. We don't mean to induce fear. No, no, but no. please continue. Please continue. Um, So it needed to be, like, sealed because I, cause I was washing it and then it kind of, like, this crack kind of started happening. I, was, mm-hmm. I actually bleached it. And the bleach didn't do anything. But it's, like, that rubber kind of, like, seal around showers and stuff well cock cock yeah so <laughs> i thought it, wait is it really called that but it was chalk no it's cock okay that's unacceptable moving on so right i now. i thought i i thought i bought cock but i bought like spackle because it was advertised. That's not even like, remotely. They don't even remotely look the same. They, they one comes in, in a tube, tube and one comes in a tub. No, they were both in a tube. Because with the. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's, no, no, no. The spackle does not come in a tube. At Home Depot, it comes in a tube. I swear. No, it does not. I was yes, just at Home Depot. Reina, Reina walks in and is like, I'm here at the Home Depot for my, for my There's tub of cock. <laughs> There is no way that it came in a tube. Okay, I I thought it was cock. It was something. Text me a picture because it was of this. not Please. rubber. <laughs> because it wasn't rubber. You know what I'm saying? It it like it was chalky. Cock isn't rubber either. It was chalky. 
Well, this cock was not working because <laughs> you didn't Matt, buy a cock. <laughs> Matt is wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so immature of me, I know, but what I what you bought. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna, not even convinced you went to Home Depot. Okay, I will. I will like, check and follow up on the next. Can week. you please send me a picture of this? Text me yes. a picture. I swear to God, I need to see this. I will. I just so have like Raina holding the tub, like this <laughs> cock isn't working <laughs> <laughs> at Home Depot. Oh it. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about, Paul. It's not. That's like saying I bought cheese in a is. box. It's like it cheese doesn't come in a box. <laughs> Oh, this has been delightful. <laughs> I need a picture. Please send me a picture of this. I need to know what you bought. I will definitely. I'm so confused. I will. I Again, will. I'm, I'm literally not even convinced you went to Home Depot. You're like maybe at Home Goods. <laughs> like home the word goods. home was in the title and you thought good. I'm good. in the cock department. <laughs> you just like that word. You know it It's just like who? <laughs> like what came? I don't know. I'm just, I'm so immature. I apologize. Well, you know you live in a state where we have PP Creek, right? Yes. Can we go visit PP Creek? <laughs> it's a legit thing, Reyna. It is. PP. It's a it's a creek pee-pee called PP Creek. Creek. Yeah. PP Creek. Oh, this right. is a bike trail that goes from Poo Poo Falls to PP Creek. I swear to God, <laughs> there is a trail. It's yeah. It's we're not making this up. I swear. All right, moving that's on. That's probably like an, Just... that's probably like a trek that people take. No, Poo Poo. <laughs> Is it going to Mecca? <laughs> yeah, a Mecca. Yes, that's exactly. Um, when is the last time you, um, like saw somebody? Tonight, for example, I just went to, uh, for the first. This is the second time I've ever visited. No, third time I've ever visited people. Mm-hmm. Was eating s'mores, and we had like individual oh, s'mores. That sounds so fun. And the fire and the wind, because I was like, well, it's gonna like break up in the wind. The breeze or whatever. I don't know. The bad air. <laughs> the <laughs> the I thought air. you meant the s'mores break up and then we launch oh, no, them no. each other. No, it was, yeah, we just made s'mores. So I, I actually, saw, oh, go ahead, Paul. I saw my in-laws tonight. But mm. That's pretty much, I haven't seen friends in, oh, God. I, I literally know. don't even remember how long. Yeah, I don't know why we really did this, honestly. But literally before today, I would have been like, oh, months ago. But really, wow. something happened. To I did home. a comedy a show yesterday, but no worries, it wasn't that packed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say no worries, no. it wasn't that funny. <laughs> um, no, it was like, well, here's the thing it was a controversial comedy show, and most of my comedy is like quirky humor. So, like, I had to write up all this stuff that was like controversial, and like, I think it was okay, it wasn't too bad. Like, it was still me, but like, felt a little edgy, I guess. So, that's good though. Push the push the limits. Push in and push in to the limit. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> what number are we on? Uh, Is this question six, seven? I don't know. I jumped around on my list. Um, Ooh. What I think is... I have a crying baby on my hands. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can't tell. I was... Just move on. <laughs> I was going to say, who who's the biggest crybaby in the house? Paul, is it the baby? It's literally my baby. <laughs> That Quite wasn't <laughs> that wasn't on my questions list. That was. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubt about it. She's the biggest attitude I've ever seen. Oh my god. Well, come to her dad. She, I got I got to tell you a story real quick. So she sure. she was this playing, will count as she, question six. She was crawling and started <laughs> pulling on a electric cord, and so obviously I told her I was like knock it off. And so she stopped and looked at me, and then she went and started pulling again. I was like knock it off, and then she looked at me and just started pounding her fists on the ground. Like she was what? so mad at me that I wouldn't let her. She pulled like a electric. King Kong, like this is my she cord. Went, thum, thum, <sighs> like with her hand, like I was like, "Listen, you gotta cut this attitude, little one." Not in, not, not in my three bedroom part of my house. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. What about you? About who's a bigger crybaby? You or the baby? Biggest crybaby. <laughs> um, well, I haven't met your you. child, so I don't know. <laughs> not me, you idiot. <laughs> Answer the question. Like, wait, what's the question again? It's. It was. I was just. It was situational for the baby. Okay. But. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. I, oh. I, have I cri- have I cried more? Uh, no. I am uh, the kind of crier more. that like I will cry Man, once every three months, and like, it's one of those things where like once I like like once it's like okay I'm about to cry like my quarterly cry it, mm-hmm. it's like terrible it's like monsoon season. Like, Here, I, I, I gotta ask. I'll change the question for Matt. When, what was the last thing you cried about? Ooh. 
Ooh. You don't have to answer. But I think it was at work. <laughs> It was like a really stressful day, and like I think it was at work, and I just like cried. Maybe I'm trying to think. I can't think of any. Oh man, I don't think I've cried since last year. I think I've been so numb this year. Like my emotion this year has just been numb. Like I've just been numb and just like paralyzed mm-hmm. emotionally. So. Yeah. Mm, true. Yep. <laughs> but I remember right. I think the last time I was at work and I just felt like remember when you you feel like the little baby tears and then for me like I feel the little baby tears and I'm like oh no it's about to come like it's about to like hammer hard that's that's the kind of crier I am like yeah. it starts off like little and then it's just like flood so the build up mm-hmm. the build up the release <laughs> <laughs> um What's been your favorite meal in the past few weeks, months, days, whatever? We've been getting. I had condado tacos yesterday. Oh my god, that's literally my answer too. I've been obsessed with the build your own tacos. Or build your own nachos. Wasn't that good? All three of our answers are tacos. I was gonna say the tacos from Costco. What? Oh my Get, god! Are you that's serious? Amazing. Well, All actually, three of our answers are tacos. <laughs> you two have the same. Well, mine's the Condados Build Your Own Nachos. Oh god! That's and okay. they're seven fifty. Seven fifty, and it's literally enough nachos to feed a family. And it's like the best deal. It, like I get it with the brisket and like the tomato and the slaw and the onion and like it, the queso. It, it, phenomenal! Phenomenal! Oh wow! So good. All I get is the Costco on, one on. that Talk. comes in the tray. Are the Costco Talking ones? Yourselves. Oh, are the Costco ones, right. Reina, the ones where it's like, like the thin tray and you get like the shells and the meat and all of that? Yes. Yes. Okay. I've never gotten it, but I've always wondered, is it good? So what's the verdict? So good. It has this lime sauce. Oh. And it's delicious. Yeah. It's, those are amazing. Um. That's like, but the thing about Costco is that like you end up eating the same things all the time. That's fine. what. If you like that, which you know I do, I'm from Wisconsin. We're yeah. farmers. We're pretty plain, and have ha- we have our habits and our ways. And see, I get into like moods where like I will shop at like like right now I'm in Aldi's mood, so like I shop at Aldi's. Yeah. Like eventually I'm gonna get like I'm actually kind of sick of Aldi's right now, so like I'll probably move back to Costco or Trader Joe's. But when I do my Trader Joe's, I love getting those giant salads. Oh, or at yeah. Costco, at Costco, I love those giant salads. Yeah, and I'll just use those, and I love they have the, uh, they'll have like um the the uh, Mediterranean chicken skewers and stuff like that. I love that. Yes. So. That stuff is so good. So good. Um. Let's see. I kind of we kind of went over like buying and spending. I have that kind of on here twice. Um. Last one you did was visiting people. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever been lost? Have you ever been lost? Like physically lost or <laughs> emotionally? Yeah, <laughs> mentally. Was mentally, yeah. We'll give you we'll most, give you full interpretation. <laughs> however you want to take physically, that. Physically, I've I don't think I've ever been lost. I am so good at like I may not know exactly how to get somewhere, but once I've gotten there, I know how to get back. Does that make sense? completely like i'm really good at like mapping it out like okay this is how i this is what i took to get here and like so if i god forbid like my phone got buried in the swamp (laughs) like i'd know probably Mm -hmm. how to get back but um i mean i feel like i'm always like mentally I i wouldn't say mentally but spiritually lost but like in a good way like i always feel like i'm like what's next what's next what's next so and in a way i think that like not all who wander are lost and you know that may, so like there might be that interpretation of like i feel lost but in a sense i'm just wandering yeah so that's my little that's nice. philosophical uh, take on the question today yeah good little outlook <laughs> what about you paul I mean... have i ever been lost mhm no no <laughs> Paul's such a straight shooter. Paul is like, um, Paul is like, don't pick up my electrical cords. And no, I've I'm not trying been to lost. Think. <laughs> I almost got lost driving from uh, Las Vegas to where was I driving to? Um, Ooh, unlimited minutes. Yosemite. Yeah. Yosemite. What? What oh, nothing. Just a pop up. 
on Zoom. Yeah, Zoom um, was yeah, like, girls, we're giving you more time. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know this was a timed Thank meeting. You. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just want to shut down. I'd be like, what? <laughs> we were going to kick got, you out, but we decided not to. They're like, you guys were like, fun. In the <laughs> Zoom was like, this is like a really fun convo right Sorry, now. Paul. And I really want to know like what the deal is. <laughs> All right, Paul, you have the floor. Yeah, I got lost in California driving on the highway once and uh, no cell signal. Ooh. And the GPS didn't work because it was a new highway, so Ooh. that was a little scary. Lasted about three hours, but we figured it out. Oh, my God. That's a lot of scary. It was a long time driving in the desert that you didn't know where you were going, but we figured it out. <laughs> that would be the worst place to get lost is the desert. I feel like that's not a great place to get lost. Mm-mm. It was not comforting. I will give you that. <laughs> it was not a good time. Being in the car. Have I been lost? Okay. Um, uh, I, I mean, I'm a wanderer myself, I guess. I, I like whenever I'm in stores and stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, like I'll be over here. But then I always get, I always lose. I don't get lost. I lose track of people. Ooh. You know, I, I you like know what that. I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I, I have like good, like, um, oh, what's it called? Like, I'm really good at knowing like my surroundings and stuff like spatial like spatial knowledge mm. yeah yeah I, I i like that kind of stuff so like i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty good at that like, i'm I, either I like, like to think i am yeah i'm either like really good at that or really bad at that like i could be yeah. so focused in my work and someone's like hey matt and i'm like ah but you know or, or like the opposite where i'm like oh that lady over there with the uh blah, blah and like i don't know it's hit and miss for me but yeah yeah, I feel that for sure. And then I just have root beer floats with a question mark. <laughs> you know, if it's a diet root beer, yes. But like regular root beer, I'm like, I just, the all that sugar is like going to make me sick, I think. So mm. I've never had one in my life. What? Ever. What? No, it's, I know. I, well, I don't like pop. At all, I've never had a. I never had. I've never had a can of pop in my life. That is so bourgeois of you to not have pop. I, I hate it. Just How? It's just because it's too taken, sparkly. I've, it's too. I've taken. I've taken a couple sips of pop over the years, but I've never. Ha- I hate it so much. I've never had. Do you it. like sparkling water? No. Okay, so it's like the the effervescentness of it. Literally, the only thing I drink is water. Mm-hmm. I you drink, drink well so water. Much- <laughs> no, just water. Well, water. Just, I can, okay, but to be fair, in Raina's defense, I can see Paul in the backyard at the at the well, being like, "All these kids with their soda, you know, it tastes like nothing <laughs> I, compared I, to my well water." I drink so much water that I actually had a doctor once tell me I drink too much water. I've been told that. Do you think that she's how many times in her life as a doctor has she had to say that? She said it's rare. She even told me, she goes, I don't usually say this, but knock it off with the water. She's like, I usually do encourage people to actually take sips of water in general, but you are a water fiend, my friend. I was like overhydrated. It was so weird. (laughs) Overhydrated. Pee like a sea biscuit, you know, seven times a day. I feel like there needs to be like a government PSA about overhydration starring you. Because, like, I feel like there's, like... <laughs> talking like, to the literal seven people in the United States who do it. Because, like, I feel like there's ads that's, like, drink water. Like, water is important. And, like, it's, like, you're, like, don't drink too much. The audience of, the, <laughs> the audience of this podcast would be larger than the PSA that, that was aimed Coming at. Coming next week is our PSA sponsored by the podcast. It's the Thoughts of the Roundtable, don't drink too much water PSA. But it would have to be, like, super edited. It's been, like, $30,000 in the editing of just, like, beautiful for, like, a 30-second okay. PSA. Picture it. PSA. It opens with like running water sound, and it's like, yeah, that's water, and it's beautiful. But did you know? And it's like, dun dun, it, it could be deadly. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, the fade or like the negative. You know, like I love when documentary. It's like it's like slow zoom on the photo of like the guy who killed the wife, and then boom, the photo goes negative. Even better, it, it goes to black. It goes to black, black and, and white. white, and it's just and it's me just fumbling around. Did he kill her? Dun dun, black and white photo. He did. Anyway, okay, we're talking too much specifically about a PSA that we are not being sponsored for, so. <laughs> PSAs Check, aren't sponsored. Please. Uh, what about you, Raina? Root beer floats, question mark. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I love have them. You, have, you had had, today. have you had, like, um, they'll do, like, Sprite, they'll use, like, Pepsi, they'll use, like, cherry mm. soda or, like, grape soda? Well, root beer is my favorite pop. I was very really? biased on that question. Yeah, I love root beer. It's my initials. 
<gasps> no, I'm just. I mean, that's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a conspiracy theory like oh my god <laughs> i have to um for a second i was like your last name doesn't start with an f <laughs> <laughs> it's like her secret like that's when she goes home and discovers like in the attic there's like a doc it's like oh, my last name it's actually fuller <laughs> it's like rbf <laughs> no it's actually float <laughs> Explains everything. Ancestry. My whole life. Dot com. <laughs> Can you imagine if your middle name was Beer? Ooh, a lot. I miss your beer flow. I'm I'm Richard Beer Montgomery from the uh, the commission. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, there's some oh, like man. really fun names out there that I'm I get jealous of. Do you ever hear Jim a name? Shorts. Do you ever hear a name and you just get jealous of that name? That's like such I, a good I name. Know- I know a kid. I'll have to sh- share this podcast him because he'll get a kick of this. I know a kid named Nick Knox. Nick Knox. Oh my god, mm-hmm. that's a, that's a that, really good name. It what? works on so many levels because it's like mm-hmm. Nick Knox. His Nick name Knack, is Nick Knox. You know, I I was even thinking like, hey, like you're knocking, right? Wow. Oh, and you know what's this is really weird. I was listening to Rihanna by Fleetwood Mac today, and Apple Music said it was written by Stephanie Nix. And I'm like, is that like a legit thing? I thought it was always Stevie. I don't know. Yeah, yeah her Ooh. legal name's Stephanie. Yeah, I learned that today. Oh. I, I always thought it was Steve, like Stevie Nicks. I'd never thought it was Stephanie. You know. Um, is it, what is isn't Stephanie the name of Lady Gaga? Isn't she Stephanie? Stefani. Stefani. Really? Mm-hmm. What's her last name? Germanata. It's very Italian. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's a G. It's very Olive Garden. Uh, the entire family oh, eats. <laughs> the entire family eats here. <laughs> Where you're here, your family. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I messed up. As always. Raina, is that all the questions? Yes. Do you have yes, a bonus yes. question? Is there like a final question? I'm just writing up follow up topics for next week. <laughs> I gotta bring I gotta bring this up. Because I was gonna, I didn't want to do the weird news today because we weren't going to have time, but I got to bring this up. Okay. I want to hear what you guys think about this because this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. So in, I didn't know this, but in the UK, they have people in tears, I guess, for like risk of like coronavirus. And I don't really understand the tears, but they, and I guess tier two is people who don't live together. And I guess the UK is banning people in tier two from having sex. So literally, you're, it's now like borderline illegal to have sex with people who you don't directly live with. And it's like the strangest wow. law I've ever seen. Like, I was like, how in the hell would you even enforce that? I feel like it's a lot of undercover cops at like the bars. <laughs> it, it's like, a trust system. It's a trust it's like, system. It's like, hi, I'm. Report. It's like, like, hi, do you want to come home with me? Even, and then it's like, how would that whoosh. even remotely work? Like, at, even remotely. They just, it's an honor okay, system. Okay, no answer. Mm-hmm. No, 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 it's an honor system. They have to, you know, if if you break the rule, you have to walk in and say, I'm sorry. They and, just spank <laughs> you. You're already naked. <laughs> uh, you have to say, I'm sorry, and that's it. <laughs> you have to like, I'm sorry. No, you, you have to walk into I, the oh, court and man. say, LOL, my bad. You have to do like a pouty face, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm messed up. <laughs> and then they push you into the ocean. <laughs> Can you imagine if they, that, like, that's how it worked? You just had to apo- like sincerely apologize, and it was like, I'm sorry oh, oh. for burning down 10 buildings. Here, here's my tweet of the week. I absolutely love this. This might be the month. So, so someone who tweeted said, I was at Disney World, and uh, I heard someone cough, but then Mickey Mouse took him behind a building, and I heard a gunshot, but they told me it was unrelated. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> who, by the way, who wants to go to Disney World right now? I cannot believe that people are like, I want to go to Disney World. I'm like, that's the last place I'd want to go. All those kids no, running I don't around. I want to go there when it's not a pandemic, <laughs> right? Like I don't even want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go to Florida. <laughs> like I get like people who are like, okay, I'm just gonna like you know take a plane to Maine and just camp for a week. Okay, that's not a big. But like, who's gonna who wants to go to Disney World in a pandemic? Like I can't get it. I can't. My mind. Who wants to go to Florida? No one. <laughs> in general, no one wants to go to Florida. 
Hey, you know what? We, we, we better be pro Florida because they might be voting blue this year. So we need to be very careful with what? them. We don't want to. We don't want to. I know. We don't want to. We don't want to. Don't want to sway our Florida Floridians who listen. Hey, just <laughs> FYI, my computer's about to die. So what a great place to wrap it up. Raina, thank you so much for your 10 questions. This was delightful. Yes. Thank you so much. Are and we we'll on ha- part one or two? <laughs> this, you know what? I think this is going to be I'm one big juicy old episode. Let the people <laughs> eat cake and root beer floats. Obviously, whatever. Yes. Who cares? We'll waste their time. What do they got else? Do they got to do. I know. I don't have anything to do. Uh, <laughs> anything productive. Um, anyway, until next time. Peace out. Later. Thanks, everybody.